Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have got a last minute stocking filler gift guide for you. I have done lots of gift guides this year on my blog. So if you've missed those, then I will link them down below for you. I've done loads of different ones, but I wanted to include some last minute bits and bobs on here because the big day is getting closer. It's a week today. And also the delivery deadlines are getting closer. So I will try as well to link the delivery deadlines down below for you for wherever all of these are from. So without further ado, I'm gonna crack on and get started. So as always, um, I need to mention that some of these have been sent to me by PRs and brands with no obligation to post about. And also some of the links down below will be affiliate links, but they don't affect you at all. The brands just give me a small percentage of the sale if you decide to buy through my link. So I'm gonna crack straight on. I've got some beauty bits. I've got some fashion-y bits. Some of these bits I don't have physically to show you as well because I've already wrapped them up. So I will try and include a photo and I will definitely link them down below as well so you can check them out. So first things first, we're gonna start off with bath care, body care, all that fun stuff. So I've got these bath bombs from BU and these scents sound so amazing. So you've got the orange leaf and grapefruit scent and the chamomile and jasmine scent. And the really cool thing about this is, is that they've got very much kind of aromatherapy and relaxation in the bath kind of incorporated into these. So I find personally that citrusy scents actually uplift me. And it actually says here that as well as relaxing you and restoring balance to your mind and body, that the orange leaf essential oil is there to keep you light and uplifted. So if you're kind of gonna be going to bed, I probably wouldn't use this before bed. I'd probably use this maybe if you're gonna have a morning bath or you know, are gonna be going out somewhere after you've had your bath. But this one I would definitely use before bed because chamomile and jasmine, they're known to be really relaxing scents and these would be great for calming yourself before bed. So as well, the good thing about BU is that they're vegan friendly, they're cruelty free, and they're also paraben free as well. So no nasties in here. If you have someone who loves a moisturizing shower gel but also is really passionate about supporting British farmers then these will be a really good option so this is a brand called Bayer and they make body care out of whey that is sourced from British cows they're obviously supporting British farmers and as well they donate annually to the Royal Agricultural Benevolent Institution which helps farming families that are struggling and I just think this is a great idea obviously it's not vegan. So we've got three different shower gels. We've got the semi-skimmed, we've got the skimmed, and we've got the full cream body wash. And these are so moisturizing. Oh my goodness me, these leave the skin feeling so nice, but they're really, really nice and light to apply as well. So those are some nice little options as well. The last little bath product is one from L'Occitane, again. I bang on about L'Occitane way too much, <laughs> but I just adore them. And this product is probably my favorite bubble bath of all time. This is the lavender foaming bath and oh my goodness, it just smells amazing. It's perfect if you want a relaxing bath before bed. And as well, I find that the bubbles really last a long while. You know how sometimes you put a bubble bath in and as soon as you start to move about, the bubbles go. No, these stick around. Okay, so I've got a couple more beauty products for you. So the next products are hair products. I've been using solid shampoo bars for quite a long while now, and I really liked the look of these because they come in a little mini version, and as well, they are a matching shampoo and conditioner. So this is from a brand called Bioven Barcelona, and I just love them. They're just so, so cute. This is in the Pink Heaven fragrance, and the thing I love about this is, is that a, they are really, really good on the eco-friendly front. Let me just read you some of the things on this packaging. They're SLS-free, palm oil-free, I like that, vegetarian, plastic-free, pH balanced, and not tested on animals. So the only thing that they're not is they're not vegan. And also, I love their hashtag. It's replace the bottle. So obviously, the cardboard is recyclable, but also, as well, is because they're a bar, they will go down to nothing. So you've not got any excess packaging or excess waste that is gonna be hard to get rid of or recycle. But I just thought these would be make really, really good stocking fillers. So we've now got some bits from Avon, who again, I absolutely adore. This is my last beauty product. So 
They have got these amazing makeup sets by Lisa Armstrong, who's a makeup artist, and she has created these different sets. So some of them have like a couple of lipsticks in, some of them have got like some eye products in. But I really liked this set because it's pretty much got everything you need to create a makeup look, bar, foundation, concealer, maybe a bit of highlighter. So in this set, you get the Cheat the Heat bronzing powder, you get the Miraculous Volume Mascara, you get the Miraculous Tattoo Eyeliner, you get the Dazzle Stick Eye Pencil, which I think you can pretty much use all over the lid as well as an eyeliner. You then got the Colour Within the Lines Lip Liner in the shade Claire, which is a gorgeous nude, and then the matching lipstick as well. So you've pretty much got everything you need there, again, apart from eyebrow product as well. So as far as it goes, this is a great gift idea if you've got someone who maybe isn't sure, they're just stepping into the makeup world, and they're not really sure about kind of what looks they want to create, or if they're kind of not sure what products they want to buy, then this gift set is such a great idea because it pretty much gives it all to them and goes, there you go, play around with it. So I just think this is such a great idea. Or if you've just got someone who loves makeup in general, just a great gift idea. So the next gift idea is a brooch. Now, when I saw this on Avon's site, I knew exactly who I was gonna buy it for. And I just fell in love with it. So it's this gorgeous, moon brooch so it's a crescent moon and you've got some stars in there you've got some pearls some little diamantes and i just think it is just so gorgeous i really really liked it as soon as i saw it and i just thought it was perfect so if you've got someone who likes a little bit of glitz and glamour in brooch form then i thought this was a really good idea and it's really affordable as well okay so now i want to quickly talk to you about some of the products that i've got wrapped up and I just wanted to mention them because I thought they were such great ideas. Also as well this year, I found that I've actually ended up buying quite a lot from small businesses, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm really, really chuffed that I managed to do that because that was something that I kind of made a promise to myself that I wanted to try and do this Christmas was to get as much as I could from small businesses. And I think I've done pretty well. I wanted to firstly mention Etsy, of course. Etsy is probably just one of the best places if you're looking for small business gifts for someone or just in general if you're just wanting to go shopping because they've got clothes on there homeware i just got everything they've got absolutely everything on there so i found that i got quite a few bits from there so a couple of things i wanted to mention they've got some amazing woodwork artists on there so if you're looking for something like a lovely trinket box or a little stand for like hanging keys on i thought it was just a really really good option there are some places that do them personalized as well which i think is great it's a lovely little touch they're kind of more on the expensive side so it's probably more if you're looking for like a bigger gift for someone rather than a stocking filler but i thought there were really good options as well then also got some amazing places for like little stocking fillers so i've got some really good coasters from there i've got some really good mugs from there as well and if you're looking for some really niche or quirky things i found this has been a really really good place to find those things and I've been quite successful. I didn't think I'd get some of these things so I'm pretty chuffed that I have. So those are some really, really good options as well for little stocking fillers. I also find as well that I get my cards from two places. I get them from Etsy and I also get them from Oh Dear as well. I just find as well that it's great because you're supporting small independent artists in creating these cards and buying from them. And they're just some great, lovely ideas. So obviously if you've got maybe someone that you're specifically buying for, like your mum, your dad, your partner, or someone like that, then if you're looking for a card that has their name on it, or mum or dad or boyfriend or girlfriend on those cards, then that's a really, really good place to get them. Also as well on Etsy, if you're looking for anything for your pets, I find it is such a great place. There are some amazing kind of personalized bits and bobs. There are some really cute little bandanas that are kind of in festive tartan. You can get them personalized. You've also got some really cool dog towels that can be personalized and blankets. There's just some really, really cool options on there. I think the last couple of years, if I've been buying for a dog, I have um, actually got them from Etsy because I find that there's just some great ideas out there 
and some great independent sellers on there too. Another little shop that I bought from this year is called The Little Paper Shop. Now they don't just do paper, they do do stationery, but they also do things like homeware, they do wedding stuff, they do jewellery, they do well-being. I think they also do experiences as well and they are almost a little bit like Etsy where it's lots of different brands in one place. In particular, I really love the brand Lisa Angel. I've got a few bits from them before, either the gifts that have been given to me by other people or I've actually bought from Lisa Angel and they just do such amazing bits. They do like jewellery, they do little homeware bits and I particularly love the little mugs that they do. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Another little dog theme related gift, which I think is probably one of my favourite that I've bought this year. So you can actually get a personalised Where's Wally book for your dog. So you can put the name of the dog, you can have the breed of the dog, you can have the colour of your dog and then you get this beautiful book that is printed and you basically try and find the dog. It is utter genius, I think it's absolutely brilliant. So if you've got a dog lover in your life then I think that is a really good option too. Another independent store that I bought from is the Muddy Stilettos, the indie store. And there again, similar to the little paper shop and Etsy where they've got lots of different sellers on there. But you can also shop by county. So if you're looking for a product that is local, then this is such a great option. So one of the things I really like to look up on there is the Holiday in a Box company. This is such a genius idea. So obviously this year we've not been able to travel. So basically what they do is they create this experience that they put into a box so that you can almost experience the holiday you know, without actually stepping on a plane. So you've got like food related things, you've got things about like the architecture or different facts about the city or the country that you'd be going to. You've got digital things that you can do as well. So you get, I think you get to keep those pretty much lifetime access as far as I can remember. But it's just such a lovely idea. So you, the person that you're buying it for can basically kind of book off a weekend or whatever and dedicate it to their virtual holiday which I think is such a lovely idea. And the last little thing I wanted to mention is a foodie related one. So I have found there's loads of different kind of accessories that you can get for someone who is a foodie or a drink lover. One of them in particular that I absolutely love the idea of is that you can get these little like sparkly drops or fizzes that create colours and different sparkly things. And you can pop them in Prosecco, in G&T, and it just basically sparkles them up a little bit. So if you have someone who loves a bit of sparkle, or if you have someone who loves making cocktails, then I think this is such a great idea. There we go, that was my last minute stocking for the gift guide. I really hope you enjoyed it. I have always loved doing gift guides, whether it's on my blog, whether it's on my YouTube channel, whether it's on my Instagram or my like to know it. I really enjoy doing them and I really hope you've enjoyed them too and you maybe found some inspiration for those last minute bits and bobs. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below where you are at in your buying stage. Have you finished buying all your presents? Have you not started yet? Or are you kind of just getting those last minute bits and bobs? Do subscribe if you are new. I make lots of beauty, fashion and acting videos as well as doing gift guides and things like that. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. Bye!